Thank you, Mayor. Um, just want to remind everyone that this Saturday uh, will be the fifth annual Sisters Network Stop the Silence uh, National African American Breast Cancer Walk beginning at 930. And I hope everyone have received their pink bracelet. Attorney Feldman, I need to get you one. I realize that I probably left you off, but I want you to wear yours this, not only today, but all this week. Okay? Oh, you got one? Okay. I just don't see it on your wrist. <laughs> and I want to thank all these proud men for standing up with me and wearing this pink bracelet around their, their wrist. If you're a city employee and you're planning on attending this, this wall, feel free to stop by uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, on the first floor where the uh, reception in, uh, area is in the annex and pick up a bracelet. Uh, we're bringing, uh, we've purchased about 2,500 of the bracelets. So if you're planning on uh, coming out and walking the like one, feel free to, uh, to do that. Also, I want to thank President Karen Jackson, the founder, who was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1993 for taking on this, uh, this challenge. Also, I want to publicly thank Mark for picking up a, a loose pet bull in the South Park community. One of our constituents called concerned about the dog, and Mark picked that dog up within, and impounded that dog within 24 hours. I want to also thank Ms. Clara Caldwell with A. Philip Randolph Institute for organizing the 41st uh, annual conference uh, convention, I'm sorry, that they brought uh, uh, in honor of labor and uh, the movement of A. a. Philip Randolph. Um, also, uh, on last Saturday, uh, my, my staff and I went out to the South Belt area and we walked the community with Ms. Sandy Robb President of Sage Mutt, Civic Club, Julia Snyder, and other members, uh, looking at blighted areas, Mayor, and, and, and some abandoned buildings. We realize a lot of the vacant lots are owned by the county, and we plan to work with it, call some of the, uh, Commissioner Lee and see what we can do to try to improve those areas. It's a beautiful neighborhood, but these vacant lots that's owned by the county is really making it blight in those neighborhoods. Um, as Council Member uh, Robinson mentioned, we, uh, we, you know, I had an opportunity, I was honored to be asked to come and throw a pitch out at the Sunnyside uh, South Central Sports Opening Day. And uh, truth be told, you know, I threw a curveball, Boris just couldn't catch it. You know, he didn't know the difference between the curve and the fastball, but uh, and one that did not hit it. <laughs> All right, and you had a bad call. <laughs> Our we had a great time. It was a big turnout. The links were out there, and we just had a great time. And I look forward to uh, supporting it again. My wife and I made a sizable contribution to help them. I also want to thank, uh, congratulate Reverend Max Miller with Mount Hebron Baptist Church for hosting this successful Friends and Family Festival Day at the Sunnyside Community Center. Again, my entire staff and I show our support. Mayor, I want to thank you and uh, Katie Tipton for, a lot, for the uh, launch of the 2014 Make Safe Saturday. Uh, uh, Make Safe Saturday again in the Sunnyside community. You started our community a couple of years ago, and I just I can't thank you enough for that, and I appreciate that. And I want to thank Senator Ellis and Sandra Hines, the honorary mayor of Sunnyside, for coming out. And Super Neighborhood 68 Community Cleanup will be hosted by my office at Keep Houston Beautiful this week. Uh, this Saturday, I'm sorry, from 8.30 a.m. to 1. And last but not least, we're going to keep our brother Tony Martin in our prayers. Thank you. <laughs>